New Zealand's military ruler has proposed a three-year transition of power after West African leaders made another attempt at diplomacy to reverse the coup. The statement by General Abdurrahmani Chiani followed talks with a delegation from West Africa's main regional bloc, ECOWAS. They also met Niger's deposed president. It's the first time Mohamed Bazoum has been seen in public since last month's military takeover. Nicholas Hark reports. Answering the junta's call to mobilise, tens of thousands of volunteers gathered outside of Niger's national stadium to join the armed forces. For the junta, this is a show of popular support for last month's coup. An act of defiance in the face of the threat of military action from the West African body ECOWAS, which wants to reinstate the deposed elected president Bazoum. And the coup leader, General Chiani, delivered a message of his own after meeting an ECOWAS delegation in the capital Niamey. Neither the National Council for the Safeguard of the Homeland nor the people of Niger want war and remain open to dialogue. But let us be clear, if an attack were to be undertaken against us, it will not be the walk in the park some people seem to think. The ECOWAS delegation also met with President Bazoum. He's being held with little access to food or electricity. His health is reportedly deteriorating. We met him. We heard from him what was done to him. He told us about the problems he's facing that we will take to the leaders that sent us here. The junta accused him of treason for acting in the interest of a foreign state, alluding to France, the former colonial power. The will to act militarily is to stop what could be seen as a contagion of coups. There's been coups in Guinea, Burkina Faso and Mali. Countries who carry the ECOWAS mandate, like Senegal and Ivory Coast, want to stop this. But these states are seen as too close to France, the former colonial power. For part of the population, ECOWAS is seen as the armed branch of the former colonial power. The junta leaders in neighboring Mali and Burkina Faso have sent their military planes in solidarity to Niger's coup leader. General Chiani and his supporters seem to be determined to cling on to power, no matter the consequences. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera. Meanwhile, Washington, which has a strong military presence in Niger, has sent its new ambassador to the capital, Niamey. Lisa Williams served as the U.S. ambassador to Niger. She explains why the military leadership hasn't managed to fully control the country. This junta is throwing up everything it can possibly uh, hear about, because it's obviously not thinking very well, but um, and seeing if it will work. Uh, they have professed to want uh, to have free freedom of choice, yet they have repressed any of the pro-Bazoom demonstrations. And my understanding is that there have been demonstrations all over the country or attempted demonstrations. They have the guns. Uh, we under, I also have heard lots of reports about uh, discontent within the military. Um, and you are seeing uh, a lot of uh, vulnerability in Niger right now, since so many of the armed forces have been pulled into where Niame is and away from uh, the outskirts of the other regions of the of the country, leaving it wide open. Um, so there's disorientation, there's confusion, and there I understand there's a lot of discord in the ranks.